never wanted to be a composer. I am the composer, which is a different thing. Answer my questions. I would like to get home before the next Star Wars movie is made. And you're a Star Wars fan? I think my heart just stopped. I need to know where Joseph keeps his files. Important papers. Is that a question? Yes. Do you know? Yeah. Well? Oh, you want to know where? Are you a complete moron? That's two questions under the couch, and yes, I've been called that before. I got an abortion, Jamie. There's no problem anymore. You had an abortion without asking me? Asking you? Why the hell should I ask you? Last time when I told you I was pregnant, you just lost it. Oh. I was in shock. I didn't... Oh, what? I didn't... You didn't fucking mean no, it? No, I actually you didn't mean it. Yeah, no. well, you could have fooled me, Jamie. I can't believe you'd fucking do this without talking to me about it. It's my decision. And I am the father. And I'm the one that has to go through the pregnancy. And once you finally realize that you really are too young and then decide to leave us, I'm going to be stuck raising a kid for the next 18 years of my fucking life. I can't do that. No. I, I would have never left you. You don't know that. I do know that, okay? Mm -hmm. I do know that, Jess. I'm not that kind of guy. Well, you're gonna leave now, aren't you? No, I'm not. Okay, not unless you want me to. Let's say there are other ways I can change your life. What are you talking about? I spoke with Francesca today. Francesca? Franny. She told me she prefers to be called Franny. <laughs> you are a fucking bastard. She's so sweet. She was telling me about um, her birthday with the donkey rights. Six year old. You were very young when you had her. Nothing is interesting if you are not interested. Hi everyone. Welcome to the graduation class celebration 2022. We made it. Tonight, we will be celebrating our graduation with a few messages from a few of the faculty to you, as well as messages from our dean, our chair, and our coordinator, Anna McKay Smith. We will also be announcing the Leadership and Collaboration Awards, as well as the Academic Achievement Award. A few messages and quotes to lift your spirit and get inspired, as well as messages from your peers. So, to get this evening started, here's a message from our Dean, Luigi Ferrara, in our chair, Trent Sherry. Hello, it's Luigi Ferrara. I'm the Dean for the Center for Arts, Design, and Information Technology and I want to send out a congratulation to the students in the Acting for Media program. Congratulations on your success, uh, on the hard work that you did during this pandemic year. I wish all the best as you enter uh, the workplace and uh, succeed in their chosen profession. Take care. Good evening, my name is Trent Shear. I am the Chair of Media and Performing Arts, and I just want to take a moment to congratulate you all on graduating from the Acting for Media program. It is always a pleasure to see one of you pop up on our screens in a new show or a commercial. We are proud of all the work that you've accomplished, wish you much success in this field, and look forward to seeing your work. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to believe in myself again. We did it, guys. It's amazing to see how much everyone has grown since last January, and thank you so much to all of the teachers and to everyone I've met and connected with in the program. It's truly been an amazing time. I'll see you guys on set. Hi guys, I want you to know that I'm scared shitless, but I know that you guys are gonna be there and we're all gonna be this together. And I love you.
Congratulations, everyone. Ah, this is such an achievement. You did it. Um, it was such a joy to work with you and to see you grow and shine in the work. And I can't wait to see what you're going to do next. Keep me posted. Hello. Happy graduation. You made it. It was a pleasure working with you and I wish you every success. I wanted to say, I know it can be tough out there, tough finding your way. And if you ever need to uh, reach out for some professional advice, uh, if you need anything at all, uh, sometimes you just need to chat with someone who's been out there uh, in the field. So if there's anything, anything at all, uh, do not call me. It is true that I cannot always be employed to act, but I am consistently employed to be alive, to be human, to be kind and creative. So I am, or try to be, fully employed. There's always a way to be giving and kind and happy, and I carried this employment over into my acting, and it has changed my life and improved my acting, I would like to think. I 
I really do need to go. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, it was interesting meeting you. Yeah. You, you have no idea who I am, do you? No, I don't. Oh, God. I am so sorry. No, not God. Just Jin. Jin Lee. Lee? Please don't tell me you're related yeah, to- Yeah, I'm his son. Oh, my God. I am so sorry. You know, Mom's been missing money from her wallet for weeks now. I have to say, you're pretty good. You know, $20 here, $10 there. I would do that. Your mom's a nice lady. I don't give a shit. Okay, I do it myself. But you know, I went into my own personal stash last night and $135 is missing. I don't know what you're talking about. Dad? Shut the fuck up. And give me my money back. Where were you? Last night? Martina? You were with Frankie, weren't you? Matt. Where are you? I see. Please don't be mad. He's changed, okay? He was so sweet and he was so sorry. He really does love me. He does this every time. Are you an idiot? You promised me you wouldn't go back to that ass asshole. He's not an asshole. Hello there, graduating class of 2022. What a ride you've had. I wish you success, a congratulations, love and happiness. And if a little money comes, that's great too. All right, you made it through. That is an achievement unto itself to be celebrated. I look forward to seeing you all in all of your future jobs. Take care, all the best. Hey there guys, I just wanted to send you a quick note to say I had such a wonderful time working with you this semester. I wish you all the best this summer. Get some rest, relax, have some fun, get outside. And I just look forward to seeing you again in the future through work and business. And just take care of yourselves, it was a real honor. Thank you, take care. We did it, everyone. Thank you guys so much. It's been a crazy, emotional, exciting two years. And I just want to thank all of you for all the help and support and love. And I wish all of you the best. Thank you. Graduation 2022, baby. We made it to the end. We went through a lot of adversity, but we all pulled through. And uh, I think we all made an extreme amount of progress. And I'm proud of every single one of you guys. And the only regret I have is that I couldn't spend more time with each and every one of you guys. I hope this isn't a goodbye, but just uh, bye for now. See you guys soon. Love you guys. Hey guys, um, I'm gonna miss you guys so much. I love all of you. And thank you to the teachers. You guys taught me some valuable life lessons. Thanks! <laughs> Hi again. I have the honor of announcing the recipients of the Leadership and Collaboration Award given to one student from each group. And the award for Group A goes to... And the Leadership and Collaboration Award for Group B goes to... Be regular and orderly in your life so you can be violent and original in your work. Hey everyone, congratulations on graduating. Uh, I'm so proud of you all. You've worked really hard and you've really earned this. I uh, can't wait to see you all out in the industry. So have fun, ask questions, break barriers, and uh, always remember why you love doing this work because it'll be something to cherish. Hi everyone. I know it seems like a very long time since we've been in class together, but I just wanted to wish you all congratulations. You've worked really hard and I hope that I'll see you in a casting room one day. Best of luck. Hey everybody, how you doing? Congratulations. You made it. You stuck it out. You persevered. You worked, you worked, you worked, and here you are, and you are our graduates, and that is fantastic. Congratulations. I hope you're proud of yourselves. You really, really should be. And as Moliere said, the greater the obstacles, the greater the glory. 
All right, we are. Uh, we're proud of you too. Cheers. I'm. I'm really confused here. If you're not here to volunteer for the parade committee, then why have you come? I'm here about Carter. Carter, my my husband. Carter, my lover. What? Look, I don't know what you want, but I'd like you to leave. I'm not going anywhere. What? You're looking for this? What the hell? Are you here to rob me now? Are you kidding? You don't have anything I want. Look, you little bitch. I don't know what story you've come up with or why you're doing all of this, but I know my husband and he would never cheat on me. Photos and emails. Everything was a lie. No. Not everything. I do care about you. You care? You love the Santos, huh? We made a promise. And I could never break that promise. You would never understand. It's like we're tied to each other. Please don't hate me. You have loved me the way any girl would have dreamed to be loved. Will you love again? Someone worthy of her love. I'm, I'm really sorry I've hurt you. I can't help you. Eves. Get the fuck out of here. This thing you need to figure out, and it's killing me. So you need to do whatever it is you need to do to figure that out on your own. I know. Wait. Are you breaking up with me? Are we together? Yes. I love you. I know. But in my world, being together, it's more than that. It, it means sex. It's, it's kind of an important point. It don't mean a thing if you ain't got that swing. Hey guys, it's Jordan. I just want to say thank you so much for an incredible two years. Can't wait to see y'all out there. <laughs> Bye. See y'all soon. From the pandemic to doing school online to running through the summer, you guys, we finally did it. We graduated. I love you all so much and I cannot wait to see each and every one of your futures. All the best. Hey guys, Nicole here. I just want to say thank you all so much to the amazing teachers that have kept pushing me to become the best actress I can possibly be and to all the amazing students and classmates that I've met throughout this entire semester. Love you all. I miss you. Bye. It's great graduation. <laughs> Hello all, Kyla here. <laughs> well, I think I speak for everyone when I say that when we all look back on our first day of college, we didn't think it was going to go by as fast as it did. In fact, I'm pretty sure some of us thought it was going to go by really, really, really slow. And personally, I was not excited to start school. But that changed once we all got to know each other and we realized that we're not so different after all and we formed these long-lasting friendships that hopefully will last forever. <laughs> and we got to learn in this amazing school filled with amazing people that not only taught us about acting and the industry, but about us and how to take care of ourselves, how to love ourselves and admire the person we are becoming. I wish I was there with you all, but I'm there in spirit and in heart, just not physically there. <laughs> so on behalf of all of the students, we first want to thank Trent Schur and Lee Smarr for basically providing a pleasant working environment and for providing us with all the guest speakers and all the casting announcements for different projects and productions over the past year and a half. And thank you in general just for being there and, ask, and answering our every need and question. A big gratitude to Anna Mackay Smith. Just want to point out that I said that right. Thank you, Anna, for teaching us, for being there for us in every way, even if it was just an ear to listen. And finally, a huge, huge thank you to the faculty. Our mentors that have been there with us and for us every step of the way have guided us and taught us never to give up on our dreams, no matter the challenges, 
have inspired us to be greater than what we suffer or will suffer, let's face it, and have just made our whole learning environment fun with the taste of wanting more. So now in our pursuit for more, know that you'll be with us, whether through a word of encouragement you shared with us or just the knowledge that you gave us. Now I'm going to end off with a flash quote for all of us to remember. I know you thought it was Spidey, but not this time. Accept the things you cannot change. Have the courage to change the things you can. And have the wisdom to know the difference. Thank you. Do not fear your mistakes. There are none. And now, the award for academic achievement. This award is given to the person with the highest GPAs in the program. And the academic achievement award goes to You did it. I am so excited and hopeful for each and every one of you. Congratulations and well done. You guys, you did it. You made it to the end. You have graduated under the most difficult and challenging and strange circumstances possible. And I think you should be really incredibly proud of yourselves. I am excited to see and work with you all on set somewhere out there. Um, but for now, just enjoy and be proud of yourselves. Hey, what's up, folks? It's your boy. Listen, I want to congratulate each and every one of you, not only for graduating, but for making my first year as a teacher there at George Brown such a great experience. You folks did a, such a great job, and I'm still laughing to this day at, at, at certain sketches that you that you performed and just your ideas and just the camaraderie and the respect that you all had for each other and for me uh, being a rookie coming into class. So you done did the thing. You made it. I'm proud of you. Congratulations. And uh, hopefully I do see you on set sometime. All right. Take care. Peace. The trial isn't for three months. I'm going squirrely sitting around doing nothing. Th the press is saying horrible things about me already. I've closed all my social media. It's brutal. OK, then. Drop the case. Go party. That's much more important. Oh, fuck that. I am not dropping the case. Whose side are you on? Believe it or not, I'm on your side. But this is nothing compared to what the trial will be like. You're going after Daryl Gibson. He's a powerful man with a reputation for philanthropy. He's an old pervert. I agree, but not to the public eye. He's a bloody saint. And I would like nothing better to take him down. But you have to grow up and be smart. Lou. Lack of preparation on your part does not constitute an emergency on my part. What? It was a quote my mother would always say to me until I learned to take responsibility for my own shit. What the fuck? You're gonna fuck up my entire year? I could fail this course. I might even have to take a summer course to make up for it. Tragedy. You're being a real asshole, you know? No, you're actually the asshole and I'm not putting up with it anymore. What is that supposed to mean? It means that you are on your own. Go learn PowerPoint quickly, like the rest of the world, or go out dancing, or go fuck yourself. I really don't care. Why are you being like this? You can be sarcastic, but you've never been selfish. Yeah, well, I've been taking lessons from you. Catch. Well, look what we have here. Look what I found. <laughs> Ooh. You wouldn't. Oh, best believe I would. And who's gonna believe the sorry word of your little ass over a fine upstanding officer of the law? That is shit, bro. We grew up together. We're fucking, we're friends. We can't be friends. We're not on the same side of the law anymore. I have the 
utmost respect and gratitude for all of you. You have all changed my life, so thank you. Some say this is the end. Oh, it's only the beginning. Oh, I didn't see you there. Thank you all the teachers and uh, every classmates. Love you guys. Fun, amazing journey. See you guys later. Graduation. <laughs> Best way to get approval is to not need it. Hi, it's your auntie Susan, guys. First of all, I want to say congratulations. Oh my God, guys, we're done. This is crazy. Time flew by. I remember it like it was yesterday when we came in for our first in-person class and nobody knew each other, everybody was kind of awkward, but look at us now. Look at us now, we're like a big family and I absolutely love it. I am so thankful for every single one of you for being a part of this journey. You all have taught me so much and I hope, I hope, I hope I was also able to teach you guys a little something myself this journey had its challenges. I mean, going to school is already difficult on its own, but to go to school during a pandemic, that's a whole different story. Every single one of you deserves an award for sticking around. I am so glad that you guys did not give up and you guys were a part of this journey with me. I wouldn't have it any other way. It's so crazy to watch how much every single one of you has grown during such a short period of time. And again, I'm so, so, so proud of every single one of you. I cannot wait to work with you guys. I cannot wait to finally be in the industry to watch your work of art. I cannot wait to see you guys on the big screen. And one more thing, I wanted to give a shout out to the teachers. Thank you all so much for giving us the tools that we need for teaching us what works with us and what doesn't work with us. I think that's very important. Again, let's make some masterpieces, guys. I wish you nothing but the best. I love you all. Good luck. Bye. We're coming to the end of our grad ceremony. Thank you all for coming. Be sure to stick around and watch together the captions. And now for a final farewell, Anna, our coordinator, would like to say a few words. Good night and continue to be wonderful. Continue to be creative. Continue to be you. Hi, everyone. I am so glad you're here to celebrate this achievement. You've worked so hard under very difficult circumstances, but you did it. And you're so resilient, and I am in awe of you all. Um, so I just want to end this uh, celebration with a reminder of a few of the lessons from your Actors Artist courses. For This course uh, was designed to help keep you balanced throughout your careers and indeed your lives. So here's a few reminders. Just kick that gremlin out of the driver's seat. Be your own best friend. Take your future self out to coffee occasionally and listen. Remember your values. And don't try to be anyone but your true self. Be curious always. Paint, make music, dance, write poetry, and don't be afraid to do it badly. Balance your life and nurture and cherish your friendships and family. Read the War of Art again, and again, and again. Find your voice to tell your unique story. Ask yourself, who do I want to be? Not just what do I want to achieve, but who do I want to be in this world? If we are the sum total of the choices we make, make good choices. Communicate, communicate, communicate. Open your hearts and experience the world in all its glory. And most of all, be kind. So please keep in touch. And I'm going to just end with my quote from Donna Ashwood, 
that I absolutely love and it comes from a place, maybe from your future self. Don't prioritize your looks, my friend, as they won't last the journey. Your sense of humor, though, will only get better with age. Your intuition will grow and expand like a majestic cloak of wisdom. Your ability to choose your battles will be fine-tuned to perfection. Your capacity for stillness, for living in the moment, will blossom. Your desire to live each and every moment will transcend all other wants. And your instinct for knowing what and who is worth your time will grow and flourish like ivy on a castle wall. So don't prioritize your looks, my friend. They will change forevermore. And that pursuit is one of much sadness and disappointment. Instead, prioritize the uniqueness that makes you, you, and the invisible magnet that draws in others like-minded souls to dance in your orbit. These are the things that will only get better. Good night, everyone. Always be a first-rate version of yourself rather than a second-rate version of somebody else.